I'm getting awful tired of your sleep. Are you Peter Ames? No, but I am. Want to have a wizard's door? <laughs> Don't you talk back. Don't talk back to your mother. High five. When someone slaps you, what should you do in return? In this passage, there are no less than three common idioms that have come from this. In this passage, Jesus speaks about seemingly someone slapping you and then you letting them slap you again. However, that does go against our nature. When someone hits you or does something to you, there is a natural tendency to one, defend yourself, but then two, to respond. Let's look at the passage and let's look at the three idioms of our day that come out of this. Jesus says in chapter five, verse 38, Matthew, he says, you have heard it said, an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. As a matter of fact, we can even call that an idiom of the day, even though that's actual rule, but we even use that today idiomatically. But that's not the point of the points I wanted to make. Continuing, he says, uh, verse 39, but I say to you, do not resist an evil person, but whoever slaps you on the right cheek, turn to the other, to him also. The phrase we get, turn the other cheek. I'll explain the idioms in just a second. If anyone wants to sue you and take your shirt, let him have your coat also. Whoever forces you to go one mile, go with him too. Give to him who ask of you and do not turn from and and do not turn away from him who wants to borrow from you. So let's cover some things that are spoken here. First of all, is Jesus speaking of an actual physical slap? And is he saying, allow someone to hurt you, to beat you, even possibly kill you. That's not really what Jesus' point is. He's not saying lay down and just take all sorts of abuse and, and, and beating. But here's one of the idioms that even today we can get from this. When we say something is a slap in the face, we don't necessarily mean an actual physical slap. Can this be physical? Sure. His point is, as we are godly people, that especially if we can move on and just absorb something in a humble fashion, well then do so. When someone insults you, what should you do? Let them. It's not up to you or it's not for us to go out and immediately defend ourselves. Sometimes that does arise and we use wisdom and there are passages that we can look to to help us determine when should we defend ourselves. But the natural inclination, natural tendency for you to defend yourself speaks more about you than it does the other person. If when someone does something to you and you want to get back at them, when you want to give vengeance, what you're really saying is that I am the person who should never be offended. As a matter of fact, let me go and exact vengeance, whereas God says vengeance is mine. Let him do the defending. Now, it's also to remember that we're speaking about someone who is righteous dealing with an unrighteous person which leads to the next portion. He says, but I say to you, do not resist an evil person, but whoever slaps you on the right cheek, turn to the turn to him the other. If anyone wants to sue you and take your shirt, let him have, let him have your coat also. One of the statements that we get from this is, an idiom is giving someone the shirts off our back. In other words, we're going above and beyond measure to show love to this person, this unrighteous person. Remember, this is an unrighteous person. We understand that. And then notice, notice what he says. He says, whoever forced you to go one mile, go with him too. The phrase, the idiom that we get, go the extra mile. Again, doing above and beyond really what's called for or what is deserving. But what's deserving isn't the issue. Because again, as believers, what's deserving, we recognize that we're not getting what's deserved. And so we, we apply the exact same standard to them. We talked about before about judging and so what standard of judging that we judge will be judged against us well apply this here because guess what jesus is getting ready to just in a few verses cover that but for us we want to go the extra mile give to him who ask of you and do not turn away from him who wants to borrow from you again the point is not to be a doormat not to be a punching bag not to be abused the issue is and we're speaking more so metaphorically about a slap in the face and insults. 
And so we don't want to turn around and do the exact same thing. So if we're speaking metaphorically, because oftentimes most ways that we are injured isn't physically, it's with someone coming at us. And then what we do, repay evil for evil. Is that what we're supposed to do? No. What we do is we bless those who curse us. We will pray for those who evilly spite us. Our job is to go the extra mile. Give them the other cheek. Do not return an eye for an eye or two for a tooth. There are times where you have to defend yourself. This is not what we're speaking of. There are times we have to defend your family. This is not what we're speaking of. We're speaking of when someone does something to you and you can avoid not having to return it in kind and still re and still retain your stature, still retain your dignity, well then do so. Go the extra mile and then let God get glory. Amen.